I know you've spoken about Woodstock 99 before, but obviously the movie's out just not long ago. And, and you know, let's talk about a little bit about your experiences at the festival and what it was like. And So being that I watched that documentary from 69 about 1,300 times, when we got the, got booked for that show, I was like, this is amazing. You know, like, we're really part of culture and this is our response or this is the passing of the torch. It was a bit embarrassing when I saw the documentary that all the guys who ran it, ran it were like, so sad. The only person that didn't really get what was going on was Gavin. <laughs> He's trying to promote this, like, great community. <laughs> Meanwhile, everyone else was, like, doing, you know, punching each other out and, like, Ugh! bro culture was, like, in full force. But your experiences at the festa were much different than some of the... Yeah. Yeah, well, we'd been in a bubble in London, actually recording the science of things and recording uh, chemicals between us. Then I went to go and do play Woodstock, and when I saw the crowd, I was like, oh, fuck, <laughs> that's a lot of people. <laughs> it was like as far as you could see. Um, someone said to me the other day, hey, well done, you really managed to bring the crowd down after corn. I'm like, well, I wasn't actually trying to bring them down. I mean, just, uh, <laughs> entertain them in a different way, right, maybe. Yeah. I was trying to not promote any violence. I was just trying to promote uh, community. So yeah. I just was like horrified and humbled by the fact that somebody somewhere still probably living that PTSD. Mm -hmm. So I just was like, it's not about anyone but the victims after you bring that kind of information Definitely. through. So I was like, I didn't know what to say. And in the, in the, when I was being interviewed, I was like, how long is this interview going on? Because yeah. you've beaten me out of anything to say. Yeah. What can I say to follow that? 